choices to be made. We have another choose your own adventure. Do you go up or do you go down? This way. And we, which way do we go? They say down. What do you want to do? Low road. Low road? And so the low road it was, and we enjoyed that nice, comfortable stroll for a little bit longer. And then, eventually, we knew we were gonna have to climb that hill. Feel the burn we did. But man, the view was rewarding when we got to the top of the hill. We're strolling our way through Old Bank, which is the name of the village here on Bastamentos Island here in Bocas del Toro, Panama. Isn't that chair pretty cute? We love that chair. It's just there on the sidewalk on your way to the restaurant destination for the evening, which is the Firefly. <laughs> to the Firefly takes about 15 minutes. You stroll through the village of Old Bank. Upon arrival, you are greeted by uh, Michelle and Kevin. That's them right there. And they operate this lovely restaurant. The drink list is pretty extensive. Beautiful drinks. They were both delicious and gorgeous and very well priced. We tried quite a few. Michelle here competes every year in the World Food Championship in Florida, and we were about to be delighted by the food experience here at the Firefly. Ooh, look at that. Oh my lordy. Yeah, we were certain not to be short of good food on this particular evening, nor good drinks, nor good views. I couldn't find a thing to complain about. And here is a sampling of what the menu looked like on this particular night. But as you can see, it's in chalk, so it changes. I enjoyed the green curry. It was fantastic. While waiting for dinner, we enjoyed our drinks while lounging out on the deck observing the ocean that was very peaceful. We were there at sunset. It really was quite magical. I loved the tables, the decorations. These cool beanbag chairs were awesome. I found myself a few minutes later really sprawled out on one of these uh, palapas here. So you'll, you'll see that here in a second. But it was really just picture perfect. And also I believe they have yoga occasionally at the Firefly, so you might wanna check that out. The best way to uh, experience Firefly is to make reservations, so you'd have to call ahead. I took a little walk through some of the grounds there at the Firefly, and it was just a gorgeous view. Everywhere I look, these plants are beautiful. These are hibiscus, and there's a cute little pool tucked around the corner here.
Now, usually I'm really good about taking pictures of food, but this night I took one picture. I don't even remember what dish this was, but I think I might've had too many of the beverages to remember to take pictures, but there, you got the one that we had. Those are some of the sights on our walk back to El Palacano from um, uh, the Firefly. And then the next morning, it was our last morning on the island here, we headed out to breakfast. And look at this beautiful bird. I was just enamored by this bird. Actually, there was two and they had a nest right here in this cute little hanging plant. Where are we right now? We are at Kesha's or Kesha's, I think it's called Kesha's restaurant. And Kesha's was quite delicious. Um, for breakfast, we recommend the Huevos Rancheros with fry bread for $4.50. That is a steal and it was delicious. Yeah, check out that cool nest. I spent most of my time checking that out instead of sitting at the table. I probably, I don't even think I ate that morning. I was just busy watching the bird and this huge fish down at the dock. It was so cool. I could not stop watching it. It was really, really neat. Well, I couldn't believe our Panama trip was just about over, but not over yet because we got on a plane, landed in Panama City, and you are gonna see how much fun we had that evening and the next morning in Panama City before we got on our flight back to Miami and back to the States. So make sure you subscribe so you can catch my next video and see what to do in downtown Panama City. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.